Uh, Super Bowl 57, Chiefs and Eagles this week. Can I say uh, something? Please. I've hardly heard a peep about the Super Bowl. And that's very rare. That you really don't hear anything. The week prior, I know it's a deader week. It's a quieter week. But I've really not heard or saw a story about anything. Point. Interesting point you make about this. Because I was talking to somebody I work with today who is a casual sports watcher. Big events. Super Bowl. And she was like, I'm just not into this Super Bowl. Yeah. And it's funny because um, I don't think we have it, but Field Yates tweeted out today the the stats. Both teams are sixteen and three. Both teams exactly have the same amount same of same amount of points. Exactly yeah. the same amount of points. Both teams have the same amount of Pro Bowlers. Like it, both teams are number one seeds. There's not a lot of nobody hates anybody in this Super Bowl. That's the problem. Maybe you're right. You usually. There's got to be a team that you don't like. There's got to be, so you, oh, you don't want to see Tom Brady in there. Or you, you're you rooting for Matthew Stafford or against him. Emotionally, yeah. there's just no connection to this Super Bowl because nobody's bad. Last year, right? we nobody's were so bad. involved last right. year because of Matthew Stafford. Right. right. Even us here in Detroit, especially. And the year prior, you had the Tom Brady angle with the Bucks. And before, there's always some kind of really big story well, that you can root for or against. There's no root against in this Super Bowl, I feel no. like. There, there, is, there no, is no hate. There is nobody that you hate in this Super Bowl. No, I think I think this is one of the rare Super Bowls where like you're, you kind of can root for either either team or either like quarterback because the stories are unique. Um, one quarterback is an underdog who... You know, was benched in college. And, you know, his story is kind of unique. I, I've watched. They they did something on Jalen Hurts where they were kind of going through his background of, uh, you know, the things that he's went through and how he's be, become a, a, a great leader, you know, for the Eagles. And then you, you look at um, the chosen one, Mahomes, mm -hmm. who uh, clearly people are saying could be the next guy. You know, so I, it, it's, it's a bunch of feel-good stories. But there is, like you said, there's nothing to hate about this Super Bowl.